Steve. Welcome to the Skull Steve channel. I'm your host, Skella Steve. What's up, everybody? Hold on, I gotta make sure this is all good. All right, so it is my first official ride on my Yamaha Roadstar. It's March 17th. 2020, oops, sorry, 2022, <laughs> I don't want to say that now. Yep, happy St. belated St. Paddy's Day, everybody, because this will come out later. But what do I want to talk about the first motor vlog on my bike? What is my subject going to be? It is going to be about why I kind of consider myself as an underdog in mainly for motorcycle riding and, you know, majority of my life. Now, I'm not like like a small like person so I'm not like it's not like a David Goliath physically kind of thing with me because you know I'm a big dude but I've always been kind of I've always been counted out in my life for a lot of reasons and one of them was motorcycle riding now let's uh let's get into that now growing up I've been uh I've been kind of the guy like goofy, clumsy, uncoordinated. So I kind of see why people get the bad impression of me, like why I shouldn't be doing certain things and they get scared. I've had people before I started riding tell me they didn't want me to ride. Now I get it. There is people out there that will tell you, oh, it's dangerous. Oh, you can kill yourself. You can get hurt. I've heard that, but I've heard like indirect messages from people or words saying that I shouldn't be riding. Uh, when I was when I was looking to buy or actually get my license and I was talking to my buddy Jesse when I was working with him you know we were just shooting the shit talking about it at work it was during like one of our 15 minute breaks and we we're, were going on and on about this and I was I was telling Jesse like man I you know I really want to get my license I, I mean I, my endorsement I really want to get a bike and our manager at the time comes up and goes what are you guys talking about and jesse goes yeah hey, steve's looking about wants to get a motorcycle what do you think he should start off with you used to ride he goes oh steve shouldn't ride why he's like oh it's you you of all people shouldn't be riding trust me steve i'm looking out for you, you shouldn't ride it's not for you man trust, uh, trust me i used to ride a suzuki katana i know how dangerous riding is i stopped riding a long time ago you shouldn't be riding steve you should be fine you're fine driving a car and I'm like what the hell he goes I was like I want to ride a motorcycle man that's the uh, it was like I want to give it a try why not just give it a try and he goes no I, I believe that you shouldn't do it and my uh, my buddy Jesse goes well they do make the Can-Am spiders you know the Can-Am spiders he goes uh, you, Steve can ride that it's two wheels in the front one in the back and they have automatics and he looks at me he goes oh there you go Steve here you go, you can get one of those. And I was like, no, man, I don't want a friggin' Cam Am Spider. No, like, it's not me. You know, they're for they're other people, you know, not not me. It's not my cup of tea. If you want a Cam Am Spider, it's you. You know, I don't, I don't want it. I wanted a bike, not a trike. I want two wheels, two wheels, two wheels, not three. It's not just that. There was other people that told me that I shouldn't ride and, and my buddies, of course, didn't teach me how to ride, and it's not their responsibility either. But I had, but they'd, get, they'd tell me like for certain things to do, especially when I started riding. They helped me out, so they stayed confident with me. My, and I gotta give it out to my buddy Carl, Oz, and Jesse, who you know helped me out, especially Oz because Oz actually threw the keys to his bike to me. He didn't have to do that. Nobody has to do that. You know, it's you're you're worried about someone getting hurt on your bike i understand it's your baby and you don't want your friend getting hurt on your bike i i get it but oz didn't have to do it but he did it he tossed me his keys and told me get on he's gonna teach me how to ride and i've had a few other people i'm not gonna go on the whole list of people that doubted me but it's kind of crappy you know it's like i get it i'm not like i'm not the best you know like i said i'm just uncoordinated and stuff and i'm like you know uh what's the word i'm looking for goofy clumsy but hey you know 
shit, it is what it is, you know, and I, I learned. I, I, I feel like I did pretty good. I'm okay-ish. I know one thing I need to work on more is my group riding skills. That's because I don't ride with groups a lot. I feel like a schmuck when I was riding down in Texas with the guys down there. I feel like I was making a fool of myself. Like, I, I know some of the mistakes I made, and it's like, damn, man, I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> but I, if I keep riding, if I ride with groups, I, I'll get better. It doesn't take that long. But yeah, it's it's stuff like that, you know, and I know when I lay down my bike the second time, year two was my second bike and I, I, I totaled it. And I remember when I when I totaled my one bike, because I actually laid it down going fast, I was like maybe like 50 miles an hour. And we were talking about it to uh no, he's not my friend, he's like an he's like associate, like friends of friend. He he's like to me. This is like the second time when I lay down my bike. He goes, oh, you lay down your bike again? I'm like, yeah. He goes, wow, you shouldn't be riding anymore, man. And I looked at him like, who the hell are you telling not to ride? This coming from the guy that went through like three or four manual transmissions and they only lasted like 50,000 miles. <laughs> so I don't know how you tell him. How are you telling me I shouldn't be here? You shouldn't be driving a manual. Stick to automatics, man. I'm be driving manual cars. Don't tell me how to, how to, what to do because after that, I've been on a clean slate. Knock on wood. Where's the wood around here? I've been, I've been pretty good. So, other than that, man, I've been, I've been, I've been solid. You know, it's not just that. It's been my whole life. You know, I've been kind of counted on a lot of things. You know, I've been, I've, like I said, I've just been the guy that you know people didn't have the confidence in, and I'm doing pretty decent in my life. Like. Driving was one of them. That was another one, too. I've had people tell me they were nervous about me driving. They were nervous. And I've been driving for maybe like 13 years now. 14, I don't know. And I've been <laughs> I've been pretty, pretty good. You know, I've, I don't think I had one accident. It was a rear end collision. That's because my, my piece of crap Dodge Shadow freaking ran out of gas and stalled out in the middle of the road and the blinkers didn't work and it was raining so somebody hit me that was it nothing else knock on wood knock on wood on that one too <laughs> and i'm now i have a, my cdlb you know so i'm classing i'm driving a class b truck you know things like thirty thousand pounds so it's it's a big boy i mean another one too was i it was the same place that i was talking about earlier where i had my one manager that told me i shouldn't be riding I'm gonna get my CPL and I found out that that guy his name is Mike teaches classes so I'm like I went up to him like hey Mike I heard you teach a uh, CPL class he goes yeah what about it I was like can I take one of your classes he goes no I'm like why he goes well I don't I don't think you should be owning a gun you of all people and I hate that thing you of all people that makes me mad I've heard that so many times you of all people shouldn't be owning a gun I'm like, I was like, why? He's like, I don't think you know, I don't think you get proper uh, safety. As he goes, you don't know proper safety. He looked at me, he goes, I, I don't want that on my conscience if you end up hurting yourself or hurting somebody else. I'm like, okay, well, screw you. You know, I, I, I like when you know, little kids get happy when they see a motorcycle riding by. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I was like, screw you, man. I was like, what the hell? Who the hell do you think you are telling me that? Well, several years later, I got my CPL. And I'm pretty safe with it. I am I know the safety measures of it. I did pretty good. I passed it. And I told them, too, if I, if I fail it, here's the thing. You can fail me. If you don't feel confident in me, you can fail me. So why are you making a big deal of it now? You're going to... I guess you don't want my money. Whatever. My right, final note on this one. If somebody tells you you can't do something, give it a try. Just give it a try. It's either going to go two ways. Either you're going to be really good at it, or it's going to be it's going to be something you write off as a failure. So it's you know just give it a shot. I'll tell you, I I always say like this. It's kind of like the answer is no. If you never ask, well, well, here's the thing. The if you don't try, right? If you don't try something, 
and you talk about it, then it's going to be, I'll write it off as a fail. That's what it is. You should just write it off a fail if you don't try. At least try. Either it's going to, at least you got the chance to succeed at it. You know, either way, you're, you know, you're doing that and you're not listening to somebody's bullshit. I'll tell you too, I don't believe you should do something to prove somebody wrong, okay? Because the work will do itself. You should prove yourself that you can do it. Prove your worth. I know this is some sort of like motivational, whatever, blah, 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 man, whatever, you know. But like I said, prove your worth. That's all you gotta do is just prove your worth. Don't prove, don't feed into someone's crap. Just do it on your own. If someone tells you no, try it, you know, or you had the intention before they told you no. So just do it for your own sake. That's all you gotta do. You know, prove yourself in this world. Don't prove those people wrong because like I said your work will do itself will prove them wrong anyways guys I'm going to cut it right here I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you guys like this video comment share it and subscribe and after you subscribe don't forget to ring the guardian bell alright guys it was fun as always Skella Steve 